Welcome to this wonderful morning up on the Eichberg. No winds. Let's see how smooth my flying wing will be this morning. thought I'd make a short update video about my AR wing which just performed a beautiful remaiden and the reason for remaiding this was I swapped the flight control to this Speedy B F405 wing it's awesome it has a lot of features it's all plug and play except for the servo wires and like the motor plugs this is now with INAF 611 yeah I also installed the WTF OSD on the old air unit and it gives you so much features in terms of OSD values. You can totally nerd out there. So I really enjoyed this. Yeah, there will be a link again to my INAV settings, to the configuration file. So you can copy and paste it. Or you could just uh, copy and paste the OSD section. Printed it in TPU. It has, I think it has 23 or 25 grams. It's also tilted down a bit. And it has this this lash here to grab the battery strap for additional security. Okay, so let's do a second flight with a GoPro, shall we? Radio setup that I came up with, Lua script. It gives you artificial horizon and all the readings from the past where I didn't have OSD on my air unit. I programmed voice feedback. You have six buttons here on these channels. Zero volts. Volts. Zero milliamps. Milliamp hours. Zero meters. Altitude. Zero kilometers per hour. Speed. Zero amps. Amp usage zero, and I think that's the flight time. Six position, position one, play value, RX battery, capacity, alt, GPS speed, current, and the timer. Yeah, first of all, you should really uh, take the time to install those audio files. There is a INAF uh, voice pack that you can store on your SD card, and that way you don't have to remember which, which switch has which function, you just hear it. Acro mode. Like acro mode. Angle mode. Angle mode. Acro mode. This is all on one channel, on channel seven or something like this. I just have five positions on this one channel and the, the switch B overrides switch A. So if I'm all the way down, these three acro positions mode. work. Acro mode. Manual. And if this switch is in the middle cruise. position, I'm on cruise loiter. and up is loiter. These are my logical switches for the SA and SB configuration. Just copy and paste this. In this example here I used channel 6 for the mode switch. The important thing is that weight is 50 and offset is also 50 for my 
yeah, for my trick to work. I always stuck with this setup. I really find it convenient here. And here I just have my arm switch. I have the auto tune. In the middle position there's nothing. The down position is OSD off. This is loiter direction change. If you're sick of uh, flying all the time in the right direction, you can fly in the wrong or in the left direction. C uh, center does nothing and up is the return to home switch. And this is where you can have sounds on each of the switches. For example, if switch SF is up, I will get engine off, down is engine on, and it's really just play track and then you select the WAV file. On my arm switch I also have SD logs, so the log files are started on the radio, telemetry logging, that's helpful. I love how this cam mount printed out. The mount has room for two AA batteries, one on the bottom, second one here, which the red strap is from the original GoPro mount. I might cut it off with two of those 3000 Ma lithium ion VTC6 cells in parallel, perfectly in CG, whilst being not too heavy. You probably end up with a bit more weight with this solution than the. But for me, the peanut advanced stabilization compared to GoPro 7, I think for me, the peanut wins. What do you think? And aerodynamically, the peanut solution is also a bit, a bit better. you can find the download link if you want to print this out this is a bit fiddly but it yeah it works you can have this in overall it's quite nice but it needs a 25 gram dead weight in form of an old AA battery in the bottom not a huge deal but yeah not nice we don't want to have dead weight so this is the next camera to be tried on the AR wing and I created this walnut mount. So the peanuts on up weight is 88 grams. The walnut comes in at 90, 91 grams. So only two grams more. Better image quality. Quite nice form factor for the AR wing. 
fits perfectly, CG is fine, and it looks like this could be the, my permanent installation of an HD cam in the AR wing. Oh yeah, and the antennas, uh, they improved my range by quite a bit. Those are the true RC antennas. Link to the SDL file, down below of course. <laughs> If you also like my videos, please give me a thumbs up to this video or subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.